All right, ladies and gentlemen, episode three of Breaking the Huddle. I'm Brooks Austin here with Justin Johnson, 2023 quarterback out of Central Gwinnett. Justin just got done with baseball season, just wrapping up seven on seven season. Spring practice is coming up soon, so about to get back into football. Um, a, are you excited, obviously, to be back on the football field? B, what, what are the accomplishments that you want to get done this spring practice? Um, just more chemistry, uh, work with my teammates, uh, going out there just show uh, these kids. Uh, all these adults and all these coaches that we can compete with the best as well in our region. Yeah, I mean, we got a nice school out here in Central Gwinnett. I, I'll, I'll be honest, I hadn't made it out here uh, for a high school football game. I think I'm going to have to uh, this year. Just make a promise to Coach Ferdinand right there on the record. Uh, we'll be making it out here. Uh, no, but we're, we're here to do a pro day, but we're going to get on the board as we typically do. Just talk some, some basic standard concepts that you run here at Central Gwinnett. Um, you know, first clip actually on your highlight film. This concept right here. We got an RPO kind of check with me out here with the wide receivers. Take me through your reads right here uh, of just what we're looking for when we walk to the line of scrimmage. Um, what I'm looking for is I'm looking on how deep that DB is. If that DB is uh, in a man, in a man, mm -hmm. uh, that number two kid is going to UGA. So that's that's already a beater. So and that and it depends on what the safety is doing. If that safety is in the middle of the field and I'm to the boundary, I like that one on one. I, this this Georgia kid, Makai Muse. Georgia kid, Makai Muse, yes sir. Yeah, he's a, he's a pretty good football player. I like that. I like the way you said it though. That's a beater right there. I, I haven't heard that terminology. But the other thing I'd be looking at is like we, we want to count the box too when we yes, come sir. to the line of scrimmage, right? I mean, the, the box is too loaded. They got seven, we got six. We want to get out of this. Um, you know, ball placement right here. Where, where are we trying to hit it? Um, outside shoulder. Outside, outside shoulder. shoulder. Yes, sir. And if he can't get over the top, which Makai's never really had, let's say, let's say, who, who, who was your big body, your big body target last year? What was his name? Uh, Eldrick Mason. Eldrick Mason. He's like a 6'2", 205 kind of guy, right? Yes, sir. Now, if he can't quite create separation, where's that ball placement now go? Back side, back we, shoulder. We want to go back shoulder with it, correct? Yes, sir. Gotcha. All right. Solid play right there. I like that one a lot. So this is the first play we drew up on the board. Yeah. Right? This is the, the RPO concept that you guys got. Um, is this a check with you? Are you making eye contact with, with Makai down on the bottom, or is this just already like predetermined that you've got free reign to do whatever you want in terms of checking out of the run play? Um, we we play fake to get those to get those backers to bite up. Mm -hmm. um, I knew I was going to Makai because you see how far that DB is playing. Yeah, he's not playing very far, so he stems a release and he's up the field. It's a touchdown. That dude's immediate. I mean, he's he's a space creator immediately, isn't he? Kick and go. It's a good touch ball, right? We we don't want to over the the one thing we can't do is overthrow that ball, right? Yes, sir. With somebody that's got that much space on his defender. This is my favorite play on the highlights, bro. This is modern football, like you know, being able to create off script because this isn't planned. There's nothing in the playbook that says, hey. Uh, you know, I know the whole concept's to the right, but let's just bail out left. Why? Why'd you bail out left here? Um, busted play, but I knew I knew my ex was backside had the backside. Uh, so you're saying the front side busted? Busted, busted play, busted play, and I'm like, I'm not going to take a sack. And I knew my back, I knew my backside had a square route, a square route, in route, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to fit it in right there. Work. You don't ever practice this throw, do you? That's just you being an athlete. Again, that's what that's my favorite play on the clip. All right, Justin, second and three. Um, you know, we just had a, a successful rundown on, on first down. Or so you got a successful play. We're ahead of the sticks. Great opportunity now to take a deep shot, right? Come out and empty, four by one. What is the concept and play that you like right here? Um, when you always uh, go four by one, uh, everybody's a man. Um, and all my skill players were normally fast. So I seen 11-3 kid in 100 uh, in a fat linebacker. So I just knew to take that shot down the middle. And they're in the cover two, so they have deep pass of the field and that middle field was wide open. Alright, so so draw draw the full concept up. Let me get that. Mandatory inside release. Mandatory inside release. Uh have shallow. You have another MIR. You have a shallow. Uh running back on linebacker, cover two. 
Have that side, have that side of the field. Uh, middle of the field is wide open for the running back to score. Middle of the field. What's this play call? Uh, pipe. We call it pipe. Y'all call this pipe? Yes, sir. And we drew this one up as well. Okay, this is the this is the empty. We're right four by one. This is pipe, right? Yes, sir. See, I mean, you see the middle of the field that open. Wide open. Cover two. And hey, we we got a we got a missed assignment from the the inside slot. You said mandatory inside release, right? What's he doing? He's outside releasing. But he wins. He wins. It's good over the shoulder catch by him too. That's a running back doing that. Yes, sir. And now he's now he's world class track guy. World class. That's Savannah what's up. State. Savannah State. Shannon Sharp played at Savannah State. Now that's a hole throw right there. Yes, sir. You just you, this pre snap, you know, you know, you're going here. Hole shot. Yep. Hole shot. Now you're getting some pressure in your face though. Standing strong, I like that. Oh, shot. I mean, you're not the biggest guy in the world. You're about, what, six foot and a half, maybe? Yes, six sir. foot? I mean, when you got a defensive end bearing down on you like this, what, what what's going through your mind? Just get the ball out? Uh, stay strong in the pocket. Uh, I'm a quarterback. I take hits daily. So just take a shot, take a hit, get back up, keep playing ball. I take hits daily. All right, final clip for you. I, I, I know you guys ran a lot of sprint protection last year. Yes. Um, getting you on the move, you feel comfortable running, throwing on the on the run. Um, here we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna you got corners off coverage, right? They're off man, butts to the sideline, single high safety. When you come to the line of scrimmage, you see this. What coverage do you think you're getting? Cover three, cover three, uh, cover one. Uh, I know those DBs are bailing in those cover three. For sure. So if we're getting cover three, right? We're getting cover three. What concepts do we like out of here from y'all's playbook last year in this sprint protection? What, 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 what concept are we trying to hit to, you know, get, get somebody open in this cover three? Draw it up for me just so we can look at it. Uh, have hitch come right here. Boom, boom, right there. And the X come back side. Now, it's important that this guy really sells this vertical, right? Yes. And, and really pushes on this corner. And, and sinks down hard, gets this corner to at least hold on the Z. So, because this is our primary read, yes. that's what we want to hit, right? And it's a great play design for for this because I mean he might be a hook defender, right? And he's got the deep third. So here's the void, right? That we're trying to hit. Yes, sir. I got you. So I mean, is this a, is this a touch throw? Is this a ball you really got to put some juice on? What, what are you thinking as you before the snap as rope. you look at it? Rope. It's a rope. Straight rope. It's a rope. rope. Shot. Any, uh, you know, timing-wise? Timing, yes, sir. As soon as he comes out that break, ball is right here on that DB with Kim. Got to hit it early. Yes, sir. We drew this one up, too, right? This is this is the sprint right protection. And, and what do you call this, pogo? Pogo. Pogo. We sell the we sell the post, right? Yes, sir. From, from the, the number two wide receiver. And then he breaks out flat, and we got to hit him now. And just like you said on the board, that's an immediate right now throw. And you're getting hit. I didn't even notice that on Paul on first watch. You take a lick right here, don't you? Big lick. A big lick. That Jefferson defensive end has got some offers coming his way now, doesn't he? Yes, sir. But you got to get back up, though. Two hands on the football as we're rolling. I like that. And this is what I'm talking about. Look, the, the pocket mobility is there. Like, you feel comfortable moving in the pocket. Now, the only thing I would say is, hey, let's settle our feet down just a little bit. You see how like it looks like we're really jumping around the pocket, not moving around the pocket. Yes, sir. Yeah, as as we get older, again, that's that layering of the football right there. Look at that. That's a great touch throw. Boom. But no, as we get older, you'll feel more comfortable sliding through protections like this. Yes, sir. It won't look like you're jumping as much. The good news is, you know how to find the windows. All right. That's that. That's not always common, right? You know how to find windows in the pocket, even as a young player. All right, Justin, let's go throw some lasers.